So I want to start back and then work our way forward because I want to take you back to high school, all right, where you're really starting to come on as a player. But it's coming down to where you're going to go. You got Vandy calling, Stanford calling, everybody's calling you. How, how tough was that to make a decision to stay home? Uh, it was pretty tough. Uh, you know, I got a lot much more mature after my freshman year of high school. Uh, and that's just kind of when I figured out I want to go play for my dad. How did you deal with the coach's son, coach's pet stuff that may, people may throw at you? How did you deal with that? You know, I'd always heard that you, you if you're going to coach your son, you better be the worst <laughs> on the team <laughs> or better be the best. And uh, I was lucky that he was good enough. I mean, he, you know, right away he's, he's the best player on the team, and so I, I didn't have that that problem. Teammates asking you about dad as a coach, uh, you had to have some t uncomfortable conversations a few times. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Like originally out of high school, I was like, man, this is going to be hard. It's going to be a trip. But <laughs> I definitely bridged the gap between the coaches and the players. I'll tell you that. So. Uh, things, if we want to wear shorts one day, I was going to tell a coach we were wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah, that's not something that would happen three years ago, so I'm, uh, they're like, Come on, Brooks, that. you ask. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Or, hey, I need a yeah. new pair of batting gloves. Oh, well, let me take you in there and I can go steal them. That's how it was, so, yeah. Is there certain processes, though, he's dad, and certain times you have a conversation as coach? Definitely. So when I get that phone call on, mechanics or uh, things that he sees from the, the center field cam, it's, uh, it's Coach Lee. But other than that, it's, uh, it's dad and you know, talking about life. And there's a lot of other things that we talk about outside of baseball, believe it or not. So what about like the combine, the draft, making those de decisions? How, how, who'd you talk to, coach or dad? <laughs> uh, it's both. Uh, he knows what's best for me as a player. Uh, and then that's usually what gets taken into account as a dad. Um, and you know, we have a lot of help on the way. It's not just us two, um, it's my family. Larry has done a phenomenal job with staying grounded as a father and a coach. He's always kept it very, very fun for Brooks. He's kept it passionate. When they're home, they talk baseball all the time and it's fine. It's not where Brooks is pushing back going enough is enough. It, you know, Larry has found that balance. They're doing it for each other, like Brooks showing his love for my dad and giving him these memories. I want to ask you as a coach, not dad, um, the development that you saw grow from freshman year to the next two seasons he put together. What, what did you see and how, why was he able to take off so fast? He just continued to get better and better. Uh, just all the work he put in and, and from my perspective and from Brooks's perspective, it's. You know, we we talk, we know what his deficiencies are, and so we make sure we focus on those. And I always made the comment that fundamentals always went out. And the game itself is so multidimensional, and being a switch hitter just makes it that much more difficult. So the one key, if you're going to be elite, you have to switch hit. I mean, you, your yeah. brothers, the whole family, and then Brooks comes along. Why was the switch hitting so important to the Lee family? It's kind of a pride thing. It's it's kind of carrying on a tradition, and and I just thought that that was going to be the right thing. But I made sure early on that he was left-handed. All right. So I remember as a kid, if I played wiffle ball in the backyard, and I was the Cincinnati Reds, I was Pete Rose, and it, I hit left, I hit right, depending on who the pitcher was and who we were playing. Take me through your list of favorite switch hitters. I'll start with you. You go back and forth, Coach. Uh, Ted Simmons. Ooh, a good one. Yeah. Carlos Beltran. Okay. Uh, Mickey Mantle. Uh, that's, that's what I was going to say. Uh, Lance Berkman. Pete Rose. Chipper Jones. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's good. There we go. What about yeah. Mr. Yeah. San Luis Obispo himself, Ozzy Smith? Ozzy, yeah, made himself a, a really good hitter uh, yeah. at, as his career progressed. Yeah. How often have you been, you heard Ozzy Smith's name when you talk about San Luis Obispo baseball? A lot, yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely a lot. So are you the next shortstop, the great shortstop that comes out of here? I'd love to be. Maybe uh, maybe I don't have the hops like him, but yeah, I'd love to, to be the next great shortstop here from Cal Poly. So here we are. You know, we've gone through it all. Little league, to high school, to college, and now it's almost time for you to get drafted and leave the house. As you both sit here and you're looking back and all this stuff, how do you feel emotionally? Excited. I mean, I can't wait for it to happen. What about you, Dad? How are you feeling? 
that we're excited and it's 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 something that he always wanted to do. He had a great passion for it. We were yeah. lucky as a family that he had that passion and we're lucky he's in the situation he's in. Mom, what's that like thinking he's gonna be out of the nest for the first time? It's gonna be different, um, you know. Brooks was just down the road at Cal Poly and it's gonna be great, but it is gonna be different knowing that he's not at the yard with Larry. You gotta move on and I'm looking forward to the next step, but um, it's something that, you know, all those memories I had with him, you know, it's um, something I'll never forget. It is a family game, and that is one of the many reasons we love it. Otherworldly bat-to-ball skills, veteran approach, all phrases to describe Brooks Lee, a big week in Los Angeles for the Lee family. You can watch it all unfold right here on MLB Network.